hi there and good morning a very exciting day for me because i am going away on a trip something that i haven't done in a long time but before that but before before we do anything about the trip i woke up this morning and i've made a decision that i need to go back to the gym because i haven't been going to the gym for a month and then came these changes that i don't like my midsection is increasing i have been eating pastas and a lot of rice and what have you by there i love rice but the point here is my midsection is bulging it is increasing i can see the changes there's this chain that i usually wear around my waist and the purpose of it is to monitor my waist whether it's increasing that is the point increasing decreasing is not a problem that's good that's good but i wear it to monitor my waistline if it gets tighter i know things need to be done um there are those changes that occur throughout the day like for example when i eat obviously your belly will tend to increase a little bit or bulge out and then maybe when you're hungry it will loosen a little bit but i'm talking about those changes that have been consistent for weeks and i can notice the chain is getting a bit tighter so i need to do something about it and i am going back to the gym hey so just quickly before i head to the gym i wanted to show you what i mean by my waistline is adding a few inches so if i lower this down don't mind my granny panties let me just pull them up to keep it respectful uh you never know who is watching this one is the chain that i'm talking about i usually wear it around my waist just to monitor and see whether it's getting tighter or it's the same or it's getting loose so that's the easiest way for me to know whether i'm adding or losing fats and the reason why i don't rely on the scale i use the scale to generally know what i weigh but if i want to check whether my midsection is increasing or decreasing this is the chain that i use so as you can see this chain isn't going below my belly button at all when i pull it up it just drops there and it stops around my belly button before it was falling all the way down below and right now it's very tight you can see it's even digging into my skin that is an indication that my belly or my midsection is increasing and most probably it's because it's fat because i mean i haven't been going to the gym it's a no-brainer let me just show you so if you look to the sides here a better way to look at it also if you don't have a chain or you're not interested in wearing a chain is to use what you have there are more accurate ways of measuring your body fat like scientific devices or the more advanced devices like the the calipat a more alternative way that you can easily do it at home is you can pinch your skin so if you can see here there's a bulge and there's also a bulge on the side here on both sides so if i pinch here you can see that i'm pinching a great deal of skin what i'm pinching is the fats that have accumulated under my skin this is called subcutaneous fats and it just accumulates under your skin so this is what i intend to get rid of because it never stops i mean when does it stop obviously if you don't take action it will keep going and going and going and going so i've decided to start going to the gym again and take care of this i don't like it personally i like living healthy and i try to keep as healthy as possible myself i don't like fats around my midsection because of health issues i try to live as healthy as possible and so you should so should everyone else but it is a personal decision it's a personal choice now a lot of people look at me and think ha that is a very thin girl by the way i'm not thin that is my physical outlook when you look at me i look very slender but i'm very heavy don't mistake me because my bmi is at the recommended body weight in fact it's just at the end of the normal body weight towards overweight and scientifically do not mistake overweight for being fat and then again bmi is not the best way to determine your health because now i am i'm being scientific here forgive me but people need to learn this thing so bmi is not the best way to determine body weight or how your health is in regards to your body because it doesn't put into consideration factors such as muscle mass or generally body composition body composition is uh, how much fats you have how much muscles you have what's the density of your bones so it doesn't put all those things into consideration if you're looking fit physically and then you calculate your bmi and it shows you you are overweight so that is not necessarily true that you are not healthy 
outfit. BMI is just a simple way to look at things, but it's never or it's not always accurate because there are a lot of factors it doesn't put into consideration. If you've learned those few details, I'm going to head to the gym and uh, try to keep this belly at bay. As you can see, I am ready to pack. I've already packed my clothes, but I don't have everything here because uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I need to do. And to be honest, packing is not my favorite thing because I'm usually confused on what to carry. People have ways of planning things that I cannot get my head around it. People plan day by day. I'm not that kind of a person. It's very hard for me to think through each day that I'm gonna be away and what I'm gonna be wearing each day. And also, I will be carrying two suitcases. Uh, there's one here for the uh, garments. And this one, the suitcase number two, I'm going to use it to carry accessories and other stuff. It's going to be things like tripods and my camera equipment and all sorts of things. And then also my makeup is going to go in that same bag. I honestly don't like this job. But what I know is that I must pack today because if I wait until tomorrow, I'll be packing in a hurry. And that's not good because if I forget something, I don't have time to go back for it. So if I pack today, at least I have 24 hours or more than 24 hours to remember something that I might not have put in my suitcase. I'm not the best packing person you can sort advice from. And if you have tips on packing, please give me because I need them. Now, this is my two bags that I'm going to carry with me. And I know, I know, it looks ridiculous that I'm carrying two bags and I'm only going there for a week. But if I show you the contents of these two bags, you might just understand why I am carrying two bags now. Uh, this bag has my uh, camera equipment and uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Like for example, I have this which is for my vlogging camera. The camera that I'm using to film right now, yeah, this camera and uh, it has to go in there and then this one is my gimbal that this one belongs to the phone. So this is what I use to vlog when I'm using my phone now um and then um, i have my small handbag here i only use this to carry my phone and uh, maybe my ids and then i have my bigger camera here which i have detached uh with the lens so this is my bigger camera uh, and it is it is heavier and um oh i've got a message it is heavier and oh it's stuck somewhere and uh, this one I only use to record our uh, studio videos and uh, I don't feel very much secure that it is inside this bag because I can't carry it using its own bag because it won't fit in here I won't have much space left this is its, uh, its, its lens uh, this one feels more secure compared to the body of the camera itself and then it's very heavy um, so if I attach the lens to the camera it weighs about 5 kilograms very heavy that's why I've got a second camera which is a very tiny Sony camera this one is a Canon camera and it's much easier to use this one but this one needs a bit of more time to set up and, and then I have its accessories the chargers and then below it I have this humongous thing here um, this is a this is a gimbal it's a DJI Ronin and the reason why I put it with its bag is because there's a lot of accessories that come with this gimbal that if I disassemble it and uh, put it separately away from its bag, it's highly likely to get lost. So to keep things together and not to keep them all over the place, I put them in this bag and then it goes inside this bag to keep everything together in one place because if I unpack it and put all of them here, the stuff are more likely to get lost and uh, this is expensive. The reason why, it's going to be my carry-on bag because I don't want to put my stuff at risk because it will set me back a few thousand dollars. 
so that one goes there but this one contain my clothes and my skincare products and my um, my skincare products and also what else what else what else what else yeah my shoes that's basically all I'm carrying so yeah that's all and uh, I will see you in Queensland